Kia ora koutou, ko Mr. Tata Tuka Ingoa. I'm a freelance videographer, graphic designer, and I'm a small independent company called Outcast Visuals. Now, I'm really excited to be part of Kahol Oteo's uh, scholarship program, but in order to do that, we must complete five comfort challenges. So while I'm at the park playing with my kids, I thought I'd do comfort challenge number one, and that is eye contact. So experimenting with eye contact just recently, I ran into a friend while doing shopping. I haven't seen him for a while. So the first initial was great eye contact. And and, and then what I noticed after that, that it'll give great eye contact, look away, give good eye contact again, look away. And that basically happened over the, the duration of our conversation. Um, also going up to the teller after that and then giving a great eye contact. And, but it was easier for, her, for us there because she would look away at the product, she'd look at the till and give me back eye contact again. So what I found with experimenting with the eye contact is that it made me actually realise what kind of eye contact that I am comfortable with in the past and in the present. And it's basically the same as the conversation I had with my friend. I, I, I think for me, comfortably, is that giving that initial first eye contact and then looking away and then giving that eye contact looking away and doing that through the conversation and that just shows you that you are engaged with the conversation it doesn't feel creepy or weird um, and so what I found that given that constant eye contact it is uncomfortable and then where I feel comes where I sit comfortable more or less is with you know looking away giving eye contact now I don't look away because I'm not I'm engaged in other things I look away because it just feels more comfortable doing it that way um, and then giving the eye contact back through that whole conversation so that's kind of what I realized doing this first comfort challenge number one which is eye contact Kira koutou te whanau here to do kaho comfort challenge number two which is proposing solutions and not asking for opinions now since my last challenge challenge number one a few things have changed uh, as we know, we're all in um, New Zealand's in lockdown, so I must be approaching these challenges a little bit differently. Um, and because I am only here with my kids, um, it was easier to propose solutions. Because as we know, kids will all be asking you, what are we doing now? I'm bored. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? So proposing solutions was really easy to do. Hey, let's go for a walk around the block. Hey, let's grab your scooters and go scooter around the block. Let's go down to the park and play some b-ball and play some soccer and and play, you know, hit the ball against the walls and no, no one's around. Uh, get your iPad out, play some games, let's watch a movie, let's um, get some crayons and textures and just start doing some drawing. So it was easier to propose solutions um, because we are now in lockdown. But um, I suppose proposing solutions or coming up with resolving solutions was a big part of my mahi over there in Australia. I was actually brought up in Australia and where we used to create our own festivals, create our own um, gigs and concerts over there. I was a part of an indigenous radio station for 15 years so we were able to have a platform to, um, to promote our gigs and stuff like that so it was an easy thing to fall into. So you know like um, coming up with gigs and working on gigs and festivals and that you needed to come up with solutions pretty quickly um, so your decision making was usually under pressure especially on the night of the gig and things, things always went wrong. You know and I suppose one of the biggest things that went wrong is that artists were late and so you had to run the stage differently you had to go so who's here um, so we'll put that artist on instead of that artist and we'll, and we'll give them you know they, were, they only got 15 minutes so you know we're always running times differently so problem someone was a big part of my mahi over there in Australia and I was lucky to work with a lot of artists over there I've always looked at um, never looked at a problem as a problem I always looked at the problem as a challenge and basically that um, anything is possible. So I've always believed that anything is possible. So, you know, coming up with solutions was pretty easy for me. So yeah, that's comfort challenge number two. Kia ora Tefano. While my kids are playing at the park, getting them out and about during lockdown, I thought I'd do cold comfort challenge number three, which is make a sale or bring someone onto this program. Now to me, making a sale is all about if you're passionate about it, if you believe in it, if you have some kind of connection to it, if you feel that it's beneficial not only to yourself but to those you're telling then I think it's that much easier to make a sale therefore they can see that you're coming from a real place they can feel your energy and they actually can see that you believe in the product that you're telling them about also when a product is that good that it actually sells itself then that makes it a lot easier to sell what you're trying to sell and that's what I believe the whole program is all about I mean I think that it sells itself I think it's an amazing opportunity and that's why I jumped on board so just trying to think of a few friends that will benefit from that as well and then know how great that you can actually learn um, all about e-commerce and how to develop your business online, um, how to create your online stores and create revenue from all these streams. 
uh, network with a lot of like-minded and um, amazing people and entrepreneurs and understand the technology behind e-commerce you know I think that's a great um, great benefit from that so um, also you know sending them all the information that you sent me for this program I think that really shows how great it is so with I think with any sales it's like you know sometimes you do sales and sometimes you don't make a sale but I just hope that um, the ones that I did tell, tell them about this course, this program, that they see how beneficial it is going to be to them because they think that it's beneficial to me and um, that they actually take the opportunity to jump on board. And that's um, Kahul Challenge number three. Kore Te Whano, I'm down at the park again, getting my boys out and about during lockdown. So I thought I'd come here and do Kahul Comfort Challenge number four, Say No. So now this was a good one. Um, Every moment I had, I was just saying no to my boys. No, no, no. It was hilarious some of the times. Um, hey, can I go and play on my scooter? No. Can we go to the park? No. And then after I was finished saying no, I'll just say, do you want to go to the park? And I just thought you said no. Do you want to go to the park or not? So, you know, getting around things like that. Can I have um, chips? No. Can I have a drink? No. No, 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 no. And what you find is that how, how they just didn't... <laughs> They just didn't like the word no. And that's what I found. A lot of people don't like hearing that word no. And it actually took me a long time to say no to people because for me, um, I was a people pleaser. So I always used to say yes, 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 yes. So, but then you find very quickly the person, the people that are taking advantage of you. And then, um, you know, and then you find out that saying no is very helpful to, you know, to guard you against people like that, to guard your energy, to guard your time. You know, no is a necessary word that you had to learn, and I kind of, that took me a while to learn. But now I use it pretty wisely. I use it pretty, um, you know, to protect myself, to protect me, my work, my time. Your time is worth a lot. Um, your energy, protect your energy, you've got to say no, you've got to learn how to say no. So experimenting with no over this, this period in lockdown with my boys, it was kind of hilarious. And you find out that a lot of people don't like hearing no. I don't like hearing no. I don't like that word, so not many people do, but um, it was a great experience to have with my boys, seeing how frustrated they were getting, see how they didn't like it, uh, asking me why I was saying no so much, and then, you know, after a couple of days telling them why I was doing it, but um, it was kind of hilarious. You anyway, know, that's comfort challenge number four. Done and dusted. Yeah. Kia to Fano, down the park again, here to get my boys out and about during the lockdown. And here to do the final challenge. Yes, let's go. So Kahol Comfort Challenge number five, criticism sandwich. So first of all, thank you Kahol for teaching me about criticism sandwich, because I felt like I've been doing this most of my life. Um, I did a lot of youth work over in Australia, I set up a lot of youth programs, I worked with a lot of people that set up youth programs, and this was kind of the structure that we always used to do anyway, without me even knowing what it was called. You know, for instance, we'll, we'll, we'll do a work on a sports day, and you'll see one of the kids struggling, and I'll go over to them and they go, hey, what's going on? And he goes, you know, I'm not, you know, I just can't really catch the ball that well, and I thought, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's quite easy to use because, you know, you tell them what they're great at, first of all. I said, man, you've got a lot of speed out there. You've got an amazing step on you. You know, so you can't catch the ball that well. So you're dropping the ball a lot of the time. But that's okay because, you know, you just get in there and practice, practice, practice. And, you know, I see you turn up to practice all the time. And I think you'll be an amazing player. You'll be just as good as what those, those people out there you're playing against and you're playing with. So, you know, keep going, keep going hard. You know, so um, yeah, it's, it's actually a good structure to understand and to and to use. And even in lockdown now with my boys, you know, my my younger son is hitting the ball against the wall, and you know he's just getting frustrated because he sees his brother hit it about you know 20 times, and he can only do one or maybe two. Um, so it's easy to use it there. You know, I said, oh man, you know, I said, my son, you are amazing at doing your sports. I said, yeah, okay, I said, you can't hit that ball as well as your brothers, and you, you know, it's hard for you to hit the ball, but, you know, this tennis racket is not your size, and if you just keep going, you'll be amazing at it, you know what I mean, you just gotta keep going, and then when he, you know, hits the ball two or three times, you just, you know, jump in the go, whoa, look at that, you done it, you done it, so you praise them after that, so yeah, as I said, it's a great structure to use, great structure to understand, and again, thank you, now I know what it's called, criticism sandwich, hey, you learn something every day, and that's challenge number five, done and dusted.